She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. You think you've lost your love? Well, I saw her yesterday. It's you she's thinking of. And she told me what to say. She said she loves you. You know you should be glad With a love like that You know you should be glad <laughs> Hi guys, this is How to Play She Loves You by The Beatles. I heard on the radio over the weekend that this is the biggest selling uh, Beatles hit all over the world. Out of all their hits, this is one that has sold the most copies of uh, actual sales, single sales. So um, I had a look and there's not too many lessons on YouTube. Um, certainly not that I can find that are super accurate and that show you an easier beginner's version as well. So that's what I'm aiming to do in this video. I'm gonna show you the bare bones of the song, give all my beginners following my channel a way to play this and then show you all the little tricks and the ways to nail it exactly to the record as well. Uh, let's get you straight in for a close-up to show you how to play She Loves You. Okay, to follow what I'm doing in this video, you also want to check out the chord sheet, the link to which is in the description below, directly below the video. Make sure you're following that so that you can follow this video and kind of use both to make sure you can play this song. We're going to start off on an E minor, standard way of playing an E minor, just with your first two fingers down where they would normally be. A few variations on the standard major open chords um, in this song. The next one is an A7 in this song. So we have She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a normal A chord. The way that I would play it is like this. And we take your first finger off if we're playing it this way, or if you have three in a line, you take off your middle finger and make sure that one in the middle is ringing out. Then we play a normal C chord. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. Now, this chord is a G6, and this sounds, it's so easy to play, but it instantly sounds Beatles. The Beatles ended a lot of their songs with a harmony. Like that, and that is just the way to end one of those early Beatles songs like She Loves You, one of the early hits. And it's like a normal G chord, but you don't have your third finger down, you just have the first two. So you can move your thumb up to have it nice and comfortable there. So just a recap through each one of those chords. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. She loves you, yeah. And that's our intro, that was two bars for each chord. I'll be showing you the strumming pattern a little later in the video, let's just cover it. So that was two bars. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. She loves you, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, we've got quite a lot to cover in this video, so I'm gonna have to move on to the verse now. Uh, as I say, we'll be revisiting this a little bit when we cover the strumming pattern, but that's that's the intro. Then we're going to play a standard G chord, I think. That's just your third finger down, middle and first. And everything in this verse, you think you've lost your love, is going to be for one bar. So just four strums of each chord. We have a G. You think two, three, to E minor. Then we have a B minor chord. You can go all out and play the barred B minor chord, which would be like this, if you're familiar with that. But we do have a much easier way to play it, which is from the E minor. You just move your middle finger down and then have your third finger here as well. So one, two, three. And that is a, it's a B minor seven strictly, but 
Yeah. It is always substitutable for or instead of this B minor bar chord. Um, and then to finish off the sequence, we have a D chord. So you've got either of those two options, totally fine, or any other way you know how to play a B minor bar chord. We're just having a strum along in this song, really. And we have that twice. So if you'd like to play along from the G chord, uh, join in to me now. Just going to strum on the beat for now in one, two, three, four. You think you've lost E minor, B minor, straight to D. It's G and thinking E minor, B minor, and then a D. And then we're to kind of the chorus of it, um, even though there's class the couple of chorus in this bit. She says she loves you, and you know that can't be bad. So that was a G6, the Beatles chord again, to E minor, just with your first two fingers down. And then we got a C minor. Now in the chord sequence I'm following, we got a C minor 6. And that C minor 6 is played like this. It sounds pretty uh, diminished and uh, pretty sexy for a uh, for just the standard, be standard Beatles songs. Not sure they were playing that originally, but there is that kind of complex harmony in there from the song. So we got one, two, three, four, if you want to be able to play um, that one. On the um, demonstration at the start of the video, I played a standard C minor chord, totally cool. Or you could just substitute it for a standard C major chord. It's going to sound totally fine. And then we would end on the D. So as a demo for all those options, she said she loves you, and a bar then to E minor. Do, do, do. She loves you, and you know you should be glad. Ooh. In the intro, I added the little lead guitar part um, on the E minor. And you know that can't be bad. Which I really think brings it to life, and for that I put my little finger, standard E minor chord, but I added my little finger on the thinnest E string at 3rd fret. And then put my third finger, second fret, on the same string. And then let it go to the open string. So we kind of get a yeah, 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 yeah. But we want to do that while keeping that E minor chord down. Just watching context one more time. She said she loves you, and you know that can be bad. One, two, three. And an E minor chord first. No, just the standard chord first. One more time through this, just as a demonstration. She said she loves you, and you know that can't be bad. C minor. She loves you, and you know you should be glad. Oh. And then we have a verse one more time. So, she said you hurt to so. She almost lost a D, G then to E minor, B minor to a D. So mastering all the basic changes, but there is certainly a lot of content in this song. It's not just a three chord strum along and keep doing the same thing for three minutes. There's a lot of detail to this and you will have to pause this video and work through that chord sheet um, even after you've watched this to, to really be able to get it. So that's done in a loop and that is done three times. And then after all of that, uh, we have a repetition kind of going back to the start again. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going back to she loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's an E minor to an A7. Loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we got that C minor 6 again, so I'm just going to go for the C minor bar chord. With a love like that, you know you should be. So that's a D7. You could go up on a normal D, but our D7 is like this. One, two, three. You know you should be glad. 
and then that happens three times as a repetition, E minor at the end. Um, so let me go through that last part of the song one more time and then we can cover strumming and general principles. So, she E minor, yeah, yeah, A7, yeah, 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 C minor bar chord, with a love like that, D7, you know you should be glad, let's do that love like that again, with a love like that, you know D7 in G, finish on E minor, one last time, with a love like that, you know, that's a D7, you know you should be glad. E minor, yeah, 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 C, yeah, 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 G6. So you've got all these different sections of the song and I was just following the chord sheet that you guys can view down below. Uh, I did a slightly shortened version of this um, in the intro, um, but what you want to be working on is trying to follow this chord sheet um, from the demonstration, you know, to, to demo all the different moves in it, but follow your chord seat, stick to it pretty strictly, and find out how to follow it with a strumming pattern. And the best strumming pattern to go for, for the most of the song, is down, down, up, down, up, down. There are many different variations that you could do that all involve just downs and ups. You could do down and up every time, one and two and three and four. You could do down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, like we've done in quite a few Foo Fighters songs now and other ones. But I think down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down, down is the way to go. So if we go back up to the top of the song, and if I just get the chord sheet up here so I know I'm ch telling you correct. Let's go for the first chord as a demonstration with the strumming pattern. She loves you. Going through the verse with that same chord sequence. So from a normal G chord, you think you've lost your love. Down, down, up, down, up, down, and change chord for this one. So one, two, three, four. You think you've lost your love? Well, I saw her yesterday. It's you she's thinking of, and she told me. Six and then E minor, yeah, yeah, yeah. C minor bar chord. She loves you, and you know you should be glad. Second verse, two, three, four. She said you hurt her so. B minor and a D. A G then to E minor, B minor and a D, because she loves you, yeah, yeah. So we're on the chorus like the intro now. She loves you, yeah, yeah, yeah. C minor bar chord, three little stabs. With a love like that. So if you press your fingers down, so squeeze and then unsqueeze. You know, just relax your fingers, you get those three short stabs on. With a love like that, D7 to a G. And then the third verse is an exact repetition of the second verse, just with that little bit of a longer ending, um, because it repeats the love like that. You know you should be glad. It repeats it three times with a C minor, D7, then a G to E minor. With a C minor, you know you should be glad. 
And that is a rough guide to how to play She Loves You, one of the Beatles' first hits. It is not a simple song. What you will find when you look through the Beatles' catalogue is it's not very easy songs to play. They just have that pop mentality to them, which makes them very catchy and sound very simple. But when you analyse them, there's a lot of content, so don't be afraid to stick with it and dig in there a little bit more because you're learning all the right things to be able to play on guitar. So that's how to play She Loves You by The Beatles. Please subscribe by clicking the link down below. Uh, that way you'll get all the latest uploads and we have an awful lot of songs uh, being uploaded between now and Christmas. So definitely make sure you subscribe to get all the latest ones and uh, check out the main channel to find all the songs that have currently been done. Um, and I'm sure I'll see you guys again. Bye for now.